Hi, I'm Daisha Seifer, and I am quickly demonstrating the hand calculations of an independent samples t-test. As you can see, I have the independent samples t-test formula displayed here uh, in the Grove and Cipher 3rd edition workbook. With any t-test, the formula for the t-test in lay language would be described as the mean difference divided by the standard error of that difference. How that plays out in actual numbers depends on the type of t-test that you are computing. For an independent samples t-test, the numerator is the difference between the means of two groups. Uh, group 1 minus group 2, it doesn't matter which group is labeled group 1 and which group is labeled to group 2. In the end, the t will be the exact same t value. It'll either be just negative or positive. Uh, as you know, the absolute value of the t is what is going to determine the statistical significance of the t. The denominator of the t-test is the standard error of the difference. And, uh, and that we'll review in a minute. But if you take a look at the formula here, look at the numerator, the extent to which the two groups are their means are different from one another are farther farther apart is the extent to which the t is larger and therefore will be will represent a significant difference uh, so the farther apart the two means the more likely they are to represent a real difference between the groups the denominator students can struggle with especially if you have unequal sample sizes. If you have unequal sample sizes and you're computing the standard error of the difference by hand, you're using a fairly long formula and you're going to need the variance of the values in group one here and the variance of the values in group for group two to plug in here. And then the rest is pretty simple math, but you're, you're entering in the sample size a lot. If you're lucky enough to have equal sample sizes in the groups, then you can use this simplified formula, but you're still going to need the variance for group one and the variance for group two. And I do note here in the book that the n is the sample size in one of the groups because the sample size is the same. Let's say you have five subjects in group one and five subjects in group two. Well, that n here would be five. It wouldn't be 10. So what I have done is I have used Excel to be a calculator for me um, to demonstrate the full calculations of the variances in each group because students can struggle with that. So if you see in the uh, book, you have the example data, the support, supported employment data, where you have 10 veterans who received supported employment and the dependent variable is number of hours worked per week. And then you have a treatment as usual control group and their number of hours worked per week. So I entered uh, those 10 values for support, supported employment here and the 10 values for the control group here. And I built two additional columns. This first column is the mean difference. So I had to, I had to compute the mean for uh, the support employment support employment group uh, to obtain the numerator of the t. So I computed the mean that was 27.6 and I subtracted 27.6 from every single value. That's what this column is. Then I simply squared that value. That's what this column is. And then I did the same thing for the control group. The mean for the control group is 14.9. I subtracted that from every single value in the, for the control group. And then I squared those difference values here. And then it's a simply a matter of summing the difference squared here, summing the difference squared here. The denominator for of a variance is n minus 1. So 10 minus 1 is 9. 10 minus 1 is 9. Variance is for, for the SE group is 672.4 divided by 9 equals 74.71. The variance for the control group is 224.9 divided by 9 equals 24.99. As you can see, back to the book, sure enough, 
I provide those values here for the standard error of the difference uh, value, uh, values. So the variances that you need to plug into the standard error of the difference formula is 74.71, 24.99. You see they're plugged in here. 10 is the N needed here. And you have the standard error of the difference formula. Now you're ready to compute the final T test value. The numerator is the difference between the two groups means, that's 12.7. The denominator is 3.16. The final T value is 4.02. And then you can check your work. SPSS provides those values in its output. Let's take a look at the output here. If you notice, notice where the numerator of the T is. It's right here, 12.7 and the denominator 3.1 rounded to 6, 3.16. So you know you did your hand calculations correctly if you find those exact values here. Hope this helps.